Hello kids, welcome to another fun field class on quantitative reasoning. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at exercises 9 and 10. Alright, first let's start with exercise 9, example 1. In this first example, we are going to be making use of the concepts of addition, the concept of subtraction. Alright, now let's see the picture for this example. We can see two kinds of V here. We have the normal V, alright, and the inverted V. Now we are going to look at how we can get these numbers 21 and 5 from this operation. First operating with 9, 8 and 4 to get 21. It is obvious it is a plus. So V means plus. What about the inverted V? If you follow the same procedure, it's a minus to get 5. All right. Now let's go to the board and see how we get 21. First, we are going to start with the first example. We take the 9 and add it to the next number which is 8. Then we get a 17. Then after that, we add the 17 to the last number there which is a 4. And that gives us 21. So we can see when we have a V, which is the normal V, we simply add. So this is how we got our 21. All right, let's go back and uh, see how we can get other numbers. Now we have gotten 21. How do we get the 4? using the 9 and the 8 okay so let's make use of other numbers to get the 4 the first thing we are going to do on the board is to start with the 21 so we do the opposite of addition okay so we have 21 minus 9 that will give us a 12 now 12 minus 8 that would definitely give us a 4 so 12 minus 8 is 4 so you do the opposite of addition which is subtraction so if we wish to get 9 and 8 we are going to do exactly the same thing that is continuous subtraction so therefore let's move to the next example which has a combination of the normal V and the inverted V. How do we get that 5? All right. Now let's go to the board again. Now, the first thing we do is to remember that the V means plus and the inverted V means minus. So we start with the plus 6 plus 3. Now we are going to get a 9. All right. So this 9, remembering that the other one is an inverted V. So we have 9 minus 4. And that will give us a 5. So this is how we got the 5. Alright. Now, let's try to find other numbers like 4. So how do we get the 4 using 6, 3 and 5? Back to the board. So we start again with the 6. All right. So we add the 6 to the 3. What we are going to get first is a 9. So this 9, we try to subtract the 5. Then we are going to get a 4. All right. So you see, this is how we get the 4. Now let's look at the 6 and the 3. So how do we get them? Let's go to the board. This time we are going to start with the 5. 
so we have 5 plus the 4 that's the opposite of subtraction that will give us a 9 now from this 9 we can subtract the 6 to get the 3 all right so we simply say 9 minus 6 that gives us 3 all right this is how we get the 3 now to get the 6 itself so we we'll start again with adding the 5 and the 4 to get 9 now in turn we take the 9 and subtract 3 from it so 9 minus 3 gives us 6 this is how we get the 6 so we have been able to find all the numbers in example 2 all right now let's move to example 2 in example 2 we are going to be making use of the concept of subtraction and the concept of division all right now the first example which is example 2 is having a b what is the sign b represent a minus because when you look at 16 and 3 to get 13 what comes to mind is a minus so b means minus now in example 3 in this exercise is a d instead of b what does the d stands for when you look at 20 and 5 again to get 4 what also comes to mind is division so it means d stands for division all right so let's go to the board and get a 13. now when you look at the b you know it means minus so you say 16 minus 3. so what do we get or 13 is quite easy now how do we get other numbers yes it's very easy to get the 16 i simply add 3 to 13 so that is 13 plus 3 is equal to what 16 the opposite of subtraction now also to get the 3 it means I'm going to subtract 13 from 16 and that gives me what 3 so that is how we get the 3 now in the third example the D remember it stands for division so we try to do this on the board we start with the 20 so D stands for division so we say 20 divided by 5 see so when we do this we get a 4 so that is how we got the 4 20 divided by 5 is 4 so how do we get other numbers for example to get the 5 we say 20 divided by 4 all right so what is the answer we get a 5 so it's quite simple now to get the last number which is 20 we are going to do the opposite of the division which is what multiplication 4 times 5 is equal to what 20 yes 20 all right that is all for example 3 now let's look at exercise 10 example 1 remember we have two examples in this first one we have a concept of addition subtraction multiplication and what division now let's see how we are going to make use of all these concepts now in this place there are two v's an inverted v and a normal v we are going to start with the normal v you can see three numbers 42 is there we have a 6 and a 7 all right 6 and 7 so what do we do to get this 42 using the 6 and the 7 what comes to mind is our multiplication table 
all right six times seven gives us 42 so that is how we get the number in that position 42 so if we wish to get six and seven we simply do the opposite of multiplication which is what division so we start with the 42 and we say 42 divided by what by 7 so when we do this we get a 6 42 divided by 7 is 6 that's how we get number in that position to get the 7 we do the same thing but this time we divide the 42 by the 6 so 42 divided by 6 is 7 so we are done with the normal v okay now let's look at the inverted v we have three numbers also the 3 the 8 and the 24 now let's see how we can use 3 and 8 to get the 24 so from our multiplication table we know when we multiply 8 by 3 we get what 24 so this is how 24 or number in 24 position is gotten now let's find other numbers like 3 and 8 this time we are going to start with the 24 and do the opposite of what multiplication and that is what division so 24 divided by 3 that will give us 8 this is how we get the number in the 8 position now in the number in the 3 position we get 24 divided by 8 so that will give us 3 so numbers in the 3 position we simply divide 24 by 8 now the last thing there is the number at the middle 17 how do we get this 17 we make use of the 24 and the 7 so how do we make use of them we are going to do subtraction so when we subtract the 7 from the 24 the result is going to be 17 alternatively if we want to get 24 we can do it using this also we simply say 17 plus 7 that's the opposite of subtraction and that gives us 24 this is how we do everything in that exercise finally let's look at the last example in exercise 10 we have multiplication concept we also have division we have squares of numbers don't forget we've done it before and we have square roots of numbers which is the opposite of square of numbers now this shape or picture here has a 144 and directly beside it on the left hand side we have a 12 now what do you think can be done with this 12 to get 144 what comes to mind is multiplying the 12 by itself that is what we meant by square of numbers so 12 square is simply 12 times 12 all right we also call it 12 raised to the power of 2 all right so 12 times 12 is 144 this is how we did we simply square the number in that position to get the other now if we wish to use that same 144 to get back 12 we do the opposite of square of numbers what is that again square roots you are correct so what is the square root of 144 we look for a number that we multiply by itself to get the 144 that number happens to be 12 so square root of 12 times 12 what do we do after that we pick one out of the number so we take a 12 and write it down that becomes our answer so that is how we get the number in that position we also have two other numbers in this picture four and three how do we get them when you look at the 12 you know something yes 
first let's look at can we get the 12 from here as an alternative method yes because if we multiply 3 by 4 we will get all 12 so apart from finding the square root of 144 we can also multiply 3 by 4 to get 12 so how do we get the other two numbers 3 and 4 we do opposite of multiplication which is division 12 divided by 3 is 4 all right so now if we wish to get the 3 we will divide by 4 instead so that is 12 divided by 4 is equal to what 3 is quite simple all right so this is how we get the numbers in this uh, picture this is all we're going to take in this video hope you had great time learning in today's class see you in our next class thank you for watching and bye